How to create a process flow diagram from an empty canvas. We truly believe that creating a threat model should be as easy as creating a PowerPoint. On our application, creating a threat model is as easy as dragging and dropping components into the canvas. Here we have a few different components. We're going to complete this by adding a login component, a search component, and of course, before we check out, we definitely need a shopping cart. Components can represent objects like virtual machines, databases, or servers. They can also represent processes like the login process or the search process. Now, I am establishing a connection between the different components, as you see here. And it's as easy as that. The default protocol in this case is HTTPS. And by right clicking, we can here see the list of other protocols that you can input into your diagram. And for any reason you don't see any of the different protocols that you might specifically need, we can always add that. Now, on the right, what we are going to see is once we hit the Thunderbolt, that gives us the list of threats associated with our data flow diagram. The same can be done for security requirements. Now, let's suppose we want to get even more granular, not necessarily the process flow diagram, but what if we want to know more information about a specific component, like the search component in this case? Here we have the security requirements. If we back up, we can see the list of threats. Now, this is what we call a process flow diagram. And our application gives you a comprehensive picture of what your diagram looks like, its threats, and of course, its security requirements.